Wake up, wake up. It's time for episode number 10 of the Daily Planet 5D. It's not easy being green. Hi everyone, it's Planet Mitch, and for those of you listening audio only, you might want to just turn this one off. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to talk about lighting today, and it all revolves around the video that I'm shooting here in the planetarium. Um, I'm using a Logitech uh, webcam to shoot this, and many of you have, well, okay, a couple of you, have written to say, Mitch, why is your hair green? And if you're looking at the video, and I'm looking at my own video there, my hair is green. And I hadn't really noticed it because I sort of look at my face most of the time when I'm getting ready to record these things, and I never really looked at the highlights. So... One of the lessons, obviously, in doing this show is is trying to set up the lighting properly in this room. And I obviously have not gotten there yet. Uh, these are the webcam that I'm using. There's a Logitech, and it does auto exposure. If I put my finger up here or my hand, you'll see that it changes the exposure. And I'd really like to be able to get rid of that. And maybe I need to shoot with a 5D Mark II or get another webcam that I can actually change the settings on. Um, I don't know, I, and I have another webcam here I'm going to show you in just a second. But you, you do really have to be careful, and I hadn't really noticed this either um, until I was, was re-looking at the screen. And, and again, not only that, but you notice that the this white Rode Podcaster microphone shows some hints of green, and my good buddy Astro... Uh, which is a tan-looking, brownish-looking dog, has some hints of green in there. So it's not just my hair. And by the way, my hair is mostly white with some red. I was, I was a redhead when I was a kid, and I should show you that picture. Uh, you'd be shocked at what I looked like when I was a kid. So look at the blog post, and I'll show you how bright my hair used to be when I was a kid, and it's all gone. All right. Anyway, so one of the other things you have to really pay attention to is lighting in the room. And I don't know if, if you're looking down here, notice the flabby skin and my fuzzy beard because I haven't shaved. But um, I have a laptop here that I use to show the desktop in some of my, my podcasts. And I hadn't really noticed until today, but that also changes the light in the room. Duh! You should have known that, Mitch. Anyway, so why? Besides the laptop lighting, um, I have overhead lights. Let me just show you the setup, and I'm going to switch to this other webcam, which isn't quite the same quality, but I don't have it um, taped down to my desk. <laughs> uh, so you can see this webcam. Also, my hair is a little bit more white, but you can still see twins, twinges of green in there, and the microphone still looks kind of green, uh, especially around the lettering here in the road logo. Um, this light is actually green, but that's a whole other issue. But with this webcam, I can actually pick it up and move it around. And so, guess what? It's it, it's obviously not just a webcam issue because both of these webcams show this. Um, but as I pan around the room, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to show you the room, notice what color the walls are. And this, by the way, is my special photo, uh, uh, etching from Victoria Taylor Gore, which someday I'll tell you all about that whole thing. And notice that the walls are this pale green color, and I have... I have a lamp that I have over here that has this uh, checkerboard blue, which gives me a slightly different look on my face. And, um, oops, kind of slipped there, sorry. So there's, there is some white, but there's also green and these little butterflies. And my this was my wife's office when I remodeled this room. It used to be the garage. Um, we painted it green because she wanted a nice different color. And there's also um, ceiling lights. The fan, I don't have, oops, I don't have the light turned on and the ceiling fan, but um, obviously all around the room and it's dark at night and there's my britches hanging on the wall. Isn't this exciting? A tour of Mitch's planetarium. Anyway, so I think the green color 
is coming off the walls. Oh, and I also wanted to show you something that I've been messing with, learning about. My, my words aren't quite right. And it's kind of hard to hold this thing and talk at the same time. Look, see, you can really see that webcam thing right on my chin now. Oh, that's ugly. All right. Um, I sort of showed you briefly, but let me sort of get up here a little bit with them. Um, I have a light on the wall, and I got this um, black flag from the folks over at Nasty Clamps. They're selling this new uh, flag mechanism, so I've attached it because I noticed um, I liked the light coming from that side of the room in front of my face because I didn't want to just have this light. This this used to be my daughter's desk lamp, by the way, so that's why it looks like that. It's not a fashion statement on my part in any way, shape, or form. But I liked having this light on, but after a while I noticed that it made my face very bright. And so when I was in the... I'll turn over to the regular webcam. Um, without this flag... Let me see if I can reach up and move it. You can see that... Um, my face is is very bright in that direction and 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 it doesn't get rid of the color i still got green hair um, but i didn't like the shine that it was putting on my face and stuff so i'm learning about lighting as we go creak don't know if you heard that creak that's the arm of the microphone sorry so there you go there's a little tour of my room and we're learning about lighting um i also learned a lot when i go on on the movie sets that I've been on about, uh, and and this is from the Spin Light 360, by the way, with the with white flags, and look how green that is. Boy, I hadn't I hadn't held this up to the camera, but that's that's a white flag. If I get it up really close, maybe, um, but you can still see green in there. So anyway, I got the white flags and I got black flags. So I'm learning about adding and changing light. Um, so, so there I am holding up that. You can see that that light is is very much too bright. Um, so that's why I put that flag up there with from Nasty Clamps. It's a very cool little tool. Um, just clamped it right up there, and I'm able to hide that that darkness. But I still get the light reflecting off there, so I get some nice ambient sort of looking light in the room. Um, Obviously, let me see if I hold up a different flag, by the way. I've toyed with the the lighting from the blue lamp. You can see that there's there's a pretty big impact there. So if I flag that, then my face is kind of dull looking. So I needed some light, but that's diffuse enough. Um, and I also, during the day, if I record during the day, the over my shoulder this way to the right, is that window of the door and you get bright light so sometimes I have to put um, black plastic bag over that in order to make that go away so uh, there you go I'm, I'm learning about light and flagging light and changing light with flags and uh, the color green I may have to paint the walls just to make these daily planet 5d's look better I've toyed with the idea of even putting up some um, white sheets on the walls just to see if the green color goes away, to know if it's really just that paint or whether there's just really something wrong with these webcams. All right, so there you go. That's uh, the, the tour of my office, the planetarium, as I'm recently calling it, and a discussion of lighting with black flags and white flags.